night. Here goes nothing. Should have time for a full match. Here's two. Anyway. Should go fairly quickly. I believe you. So, all right. If I win, it might take a while, but we'll see. Eight. A. Ah, alas. I'll be on play. Fair enough. All right. What happens is it gets a tear, and then when you shuffle and grab it, yeah. You keep it? Yeah, I'm keeping it. Okay. I'll keep as well. Things gone. Ah, ha. Good. Right. Right you are. Right you are. Uh, pass turn. Did you lose? Affinity? Oh. Oh, Joseph's fine. And you want to get John Twitch's wins? Okay. Uh, cast a free fog mic. Hey! Yeah, you do. Comet? Yep. To you. Alright. Go ahead. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm a little too slow for this right now. Pass turn. We'll see if I draw a lance. Drop. Oh, there you go. See you. Hey. Well, so he uh, anyway. Yep. Might as well. Alright. Swing with everything battle card trigger. So One, two, three. Okay, yeah. One, two. two. Three, four. Three, four. Uh, six, seven. seven. And, and then two infects. Seven and two infects. Okay. And I have two infects. Thank you. Oh, nice. A, the Tom Ross counter. The best counter. And then you're up. Anticipate? Yep. One, two, three. Right on time. Right on time. I finally picked up my German overseers yesterday at the open, so I wanted to pull it back out. I don't blame you at all. I'll have to play the updated version of Storm against you at some point. Cloudform, manifest. Yep. It comes Yay. with 2-2, two -two, right? It's a 2-2. Two -two. That's right. it. Pass turn. Man, I would love to draw a land. I believe you. Ooh, hi. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm dead yet. Two, three, two, four, five, six, six. Does this have one? Yes. So it can block a signal pass and ink moth. Well, if you, if you don't block the ink pass, you're, yeah. if you, you're dead to the ink moth if you don't yeah, block it. Right. <laughs> so animate it and then we'll swing with everything. You have to block the ink moth next to Because I'm already at two, three, four from Battle Cry. And we can arc bound into, yeah. And, else. and two, six. So, so two, four, five. Obvious six, block seven. on ink moth is obvious. Yeah. Um. Still can so save it if you start throwing counters. Four, two, four, seven, um, nine, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, you got me. And it was a rune changer spike. <laughs> Woo! Tom Ross, you got a boss. No, oh, the third lane was nice. Oh, of course. Ah. Since Cataxion Pro went down, man, yeah. everybody's been on uh, this weird amalgamation of uh, Tess and Ant. It's, okay. It's still trying to like, it's still trying to do the turn one Tess thing. Yeah. But some are running the discard package from Ant and like the old Ant players doing that. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, able to play. Yeah. Tess is just being more aggressive. Mm, can't do it. One land hand, not really anything to. Of course. I mean, I, I'm mulliganing, but yeah. The next card was a land. It still wasn't keepable, though. I want to keep this just for this card, but honestly, I'm not going to keep that because. Uh, since we're both doing it and this isn't tournament, you want to both go back to seven? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. 
I think it makes the camera, the games more interesting for the camera. Yeah. Less likely to have one player just, one or both players just locked out of the game. It's not efficient enough for me to not. There we go. Ta da! There we are. Take two. Alright. Six and seven. <sighs> what am I doing? Okay, I'll keep. I'll keep. Alright. Island go. It's the green <sighs> Midnight Orange after Sixest. Yeah, that that works, Jay. Good job. <laughs> Next card. No. Wait, what's the rare? Oh, that was the rare. That was awful. Why? My cards got shifted in the Pastor. first pack. The rare was sure. behind the... Or the, the uncommon... Just if you have zero dollars, it's all good. Thank you. The rare. That's awkward. And hey, Brandon. Hey, no. Yeah, it is. Cards are like this. Yes, combat. Uh, yes. Uh, Are any of you looking for standard uncommons, commons, rare? I will take two. And by standard, he means. Spell pierce. It's much trash. Sure. Makes sense why that <laughs> why that three didn't attack. Okay. Uh, Good. That does look cool. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's like really unexpected, but it's legendary and costs a lot of mana. Risky for the biscuit. Platform. Sure. All right. Pass turn. Okay. Yeah. just takes forever. If we actually do play each other in like a legacy side event or whatnot, that'll be great. Yeah. Are you on the are you on no, 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 I'm just going to be playing. You on I'm on Infect. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I have good. I think I have the deck, and if I don't, I'm sure I have some budget cards to slot in. So I'll try it. I was talking to Chris. Like, yes. uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's, uh, no, it's fine. It's good. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that was you. Big yikes. Not a fan of seeing Steel Overseer here. I was trying to play the ceremony, playing around the ceremony ejection route last turn yeah. by getting the extra artifact down. Oh and wait a minute! Did you this play a Spring Leaf? No, this is in, you. You okay, countered okay. the Spring Leaf. That's, right. that's, that's the one that. Was so I was playing around the the ceremony rejection, trying to like, but not the spell pierce. You you did that correctly, given that um, ceremony rejection. Should be in here, um, but it is unfortunately not in sideboard. Like trying to bait out the cerebral restriction on this, so like, yeah, it's enough value to where you could think that cutting me off of the colored mana is relevant. So, running out the uh, spring leaf drum, but also if you have ceremonial rejection over spell pierce, when you see me not attack with this, you're assuming that I'm going to cast a two mana yeah. spell. No, that, that so it makes, makes sense. it more enticing to be countered. Um. What's the play? <clears throat> Club form. I mean, honestly, when it comes to legacy, like, you don't need all of the donors. Pass turn. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, but, like, those are the a, one of is definitely not it. Right. Well, like, I, I acquired what he needed for this um, Delta. And then he didn't want to do that anymore. So then I sold those. They got the ones that he wanted for Infect. Yes! What colors is blue, green. So Cast the spring leaf drum. Spring leaf drum. Disrupting shoal, pitch, spell pierce. Because that's a thing in modern. Uh, Play on for turn. Do you finish one before he changes his mind? No. You know, she always gets like all this there. And he's like, I'm sticking something. I'm finally. Anyway. Uh, I'm yep. really dedicated to it when I bought my fourth solitary confinement. Well, I had three from back in the day. I bought my animate to itself. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, animate itself? Yeah, animate itself. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. I was like, I'm going to 
so that we can steal overseer yeah. gets a counter. Yeah. That makes sense. He, just, he couldn't land on anything, so now he's, he's played the big metal stomping a few times, like proxy. So I traded my city of traders years ago. Mm -hmm. They used to do an event, they called it, uh, at, at Planet, they called it, uh, it was the Jimmy tournament. They did uh, <laughs> so signal passed and back. I'll, it was choose your own yep. standard. So you because next turn it does not end. die to cloud form. That's right. Well, cloud form to trade with an ink moth is probably fine. Like cloud form to yeah, trade, trade with a memnite. White green guy. Uh, uh, okay. well, if that's all I get, then that's not enough. Yeah. And we never traded back. No, it is. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do I just hope for a top deck? Well, you'll have to pick up the cities. I've got two of the ancient uh, tombs. A top deck? The cities are like fucking 20 now? Yeah, but one of my ancient tombs is an expedition. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm going to have to pick up the cities. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick up the cities. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick up the cities. Play to your outs, I guess. Um, I, I mean, I'm not definitely blocking the ink moth. Yeah, yeah, we're playing load song. I will... Let Memnite through. Steal Overseer, yeah, activate. Yeah, activate. activate. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to yeah. trade there. Yeah. This one was an Ink Moth Nexus. It runs like, it's a lot of non-creature artifacts. It runs like a Trinisphere. Ah, and... It's fine, it works. Actually, it doesn't like actually make a difference. Mono, gray, taxes, okay. And then it just plays big guys. Dice, actually. One, one, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's it. All right. Yeah. 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 And Draw. all the like, mm -hmm. high all the self fortune, the lobbers, yeah, yeah. all, yeah. all the yeah. self fortune. Well, all of their cards are still like, uh, even yep. So. We're just gonna get, move this back all here or something. Yeah, we know yeah. how that's gonna go. Um, yeah, it was like, see. Yeah, you're still on camera, don't worry. Yeah, I'm just making sure all the cards are still on camera. All right, uh, combat. Yes. Swing at everything that's legal. Battle card trigger. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because of that. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, because of the battle card trigger. Yeah, no, that's what I was. That's, oh, okay, okay, yeah. So I have to block. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. All right, platform blocks here. And Activate. So your cloud form will die, my That's blank moth will survive. Yep, and it's a Jose. And then you, you have to take three, six, plus four is ten, plus two is twelve. All right. And this also has a counter on it. I don't actually know how I win from here. I don't think I do. A million cryptics. <laughs> this deck has four cryptics now, so uh, we are one two hundred fiftieth, two hundred fifty thousandth of the way there. Yep. All right. Well, that's be lame. Double cryptic Double cryptic spell pierce. Good games. I was hoping I would get this. <laughs> that, that my opening hand had an experimental frenzy in it. And I wanted to be able to play it, but. The hand also had no colored mana and no play until uh, turn three, and I was like, I want to keep this just for the experiment of Frenzy, but I am not winning this game. <laughs> okay, that was cool. That's a we didn't we didn't see it happen, but that was cool. Uh, I'll I'll lay it out. So yeah, go for it. it. Um, As over sideboard, I'll do sideboards too while we're at it. Oh, I'm just showing. That. Yeah, that's me being stupid. <laughs> Experimental frenzy. No, that's fun, man. It looks like it's a lot of fun when it goes off. Oh, like adding the frog mites in, you kind of just get to go bananas. Like when you when you go off, you really really go off. Because everything but two lands in a row, like yes. 
Uh, and I brought the second one in. Because it's you may play cards from the top, not you may cast cards from the top. So one land is fine. Yes, you one as long as there's no two lands in a row. Yeah. You you. It's really. I believe it. Um, so real quick, I sided in, uh, still sabotage, yeah, counter yeah. artifactor, bounce it, echoing truth, bounce any number, and ratchet bomb, try to wipe your field. Uh, sided out, batter skull, too slow, rune tangent pike, one, just one of them, two still left in the deck, too slow, spreading seas, I didn't think it was great, maybe, maybe to hit an ink moth, but even then, I'm not developing my board, I'm just cutting yours off for a turn. So I, I basically just go all in on the polymorph plan. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so that's that. Where is the third card? I brought in three cards. I don't know. Yeah. No, I already, I, no, I already said about two cards. Um, okay. So these are the interesting part of the deck. They get to allow the experimental frenzies just to be even... More relevant, and like we shave down on main board as champions, we are only running one of the main to make because if you run if you run into two edge uh, champions while you're going off of the edge, yeah. there's like no chance for you to cast both of them. Mm. So it it increases the fail rate on your frenzy turn. It's mainly in there because there's a lot of um, mid range and slower decks running around the format right now. Sure. And when they're trading resources with you the entire time, then you just get to slam this down mm. and go okay. Now now, it doesn't matter how many cards I have left in hand, and just, just yeah. like, let me cast like 10 cards off the top of my deck. Um, and then against you, I cut the one edge champion and the one dispatch. The edge champion um, gets blocked by the, the manifest tokens because they're colorless. Yeah, that's right. From them. And my Galv Blasts are enough to remove everything I don't need to dispatch. Um, and then the Whip Flare, it just is matching the removal piece. And I wanted the second one of these. Because there's, I can get a lot of points in this matchup just by going faster. So being able to just slam this on turn two or turn three and then go off with it makes it a little bit faster. It makes me in general a little bit faster. It's one of those, if that resolves against me, then you're yeah. just going to overwhelm me. And the other thing with you having counterspells, I, I want to add the second one so I can run the first one into a counterspell. Yeah. Because uh, the way this, way this card works, most matchups, if they just see it, they immediately are like, all right, blow my answer, blow my yeah. counterspell to keep it off the table just because it, it it creates so much card advantage when you get card advantage in an aggro deck that's dumping its hand that's right it, it literally almost becomes infinite resources normally against polymorph i would disagree with taking out dispatch because it exiles the card yeah but cloud form is a four of in the deck and it has hexproof yeah gives hexproof so like you hit the ink moth so let's see. I have four Ink Moth, four Cloud Form, Batter Skull. Oh, you can't draw one the That might actually be it. So Dispatch wouldn't work on four nights of that. Yeah, and the. Um, it, I mean, it, it Exile on Creature is nice, but also I'm bringing in the Whip Flare, which answers the Cloud Form. Yeah. And I still have the three Galvanic Plus in my deck. To where if I really need to remove a batter school token or yeah. um, something like that, it it still works. This is the main board is still just a hedge against the mid range decks and like, I agree. <clears throat> anything with five toughness, there's like it helps against Eldrazi decks. It just I've I've started playing this in Death Shadow meta. Um, was when I first put it into the main and I still have one of the board, but I put it in the main during Death of Shadow meta and we still have a crazy five toughness creatures in this. Yeah. Like Tarm Whiff's on a big upswing. Um, in the humans matchup, it's really easy to get the things to five toughness. Yeah. Um, Blood Moon in the side? Um, I actually cut it. Um, I do want to put it back in, though. Yeah. Uh, after tonight, I want to put it back in. I don't think I need the full four edge champions anymore. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is how the entire board lays out. So okay. it's these two cards, my graveyard hate package. Um, uh, this is for anti-combo and also just like um, it's it's still good against mid-range and control decks because eventually they'll just either tap out or some of that for their haymaker spell and you just get the running a stubborn denial into it. Is, oh, it feels really good. Um, I went up to the full play set of Edge Champions because I normally run two main, two board, but because of the experimental frenzy, I don't want 
the two in the main. So I'm, this sh is going to be, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be cut back into a blood moon. Um, dampening sphere is sure. anti-tron, anti-storm, storm. Yeah. This is kind of like my own weird tech um, answers. Uh, it actually is. I, I put it in during uh, when Value Town was very popular because I can almost not win that matchup. So this is a clean answer to Stony Silence. Um, oh, okay. Corsair, okay. Crufix, um, Dampening Sphere, or uh, not Dampening Sphere, um, three man enchantment, Exalter, permanent, Detention Sphere. There we go. Other, okay. other sphere that starts with D. Um, <laughs> detention Spheres, uh, like I said, it kills Corsair, Crufix, it kills my opponent's Blood Moons if they're doing that. Yeah. It's also like any mana ramp deck, it also kills their mana ramp. Utopia Sprawl. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. It's, it's just it's been so good for me ever since I brought it. Ever since I started playing it, so okay. I just kind of left it in because I haven't found a reason to stop playing it yet. Hey, that's a good reason. Oh, oh and worship. And when TJ's here, I know this this plays against his deck a lot. Two ancient grudge. Yeah. They're standard running the two ancient grudges. Um, the second dispatch. Uh, this is just more for the larger creature matchups. The like anything that can get larger than my Galv Blast, or I don't want to use a Galv Blast on. Like if yeah. I still need the reach of the Galv Blast, kill a season I know yeah, that like, has or whatever. Exactly. Uh, and then this is for, yes, yes. This is for my. Um, it's for the mirror. It's for Infect. It's for any a lot of X one base yeah. creature decks. Um, it's decent against humans. Um, it's not. It's not great, but you're really really favorite in the humans yeah. matchup anyway, so you don't really need this. Um, and then. Um, Stony Silence, obviously. Okay. Because it tapping the artifacts is is the enchantment's ability. That's not, right. It doesn't. Put it's the not part on, yeah. on the artifact. So artifacts you control have. That's not yeah, what this yeah, says. Yeah. This is the like tap two on tap artifacts. So it helps Sick, man. plays around. Um, Stony Silence. It works. Good. I like the deck. I like what you're doing here. Um, you know it better than I. I don't really have any. Any so a great yeah, suggestions, unfortunately. Seven years now. Oh, wow. I didn't know there was a series I, I, I guess just in an open meta, I might say more damping spheres, but in here, like. I mean, you yeah. can't overcommit to them because they also hurt you. So, like, the turns that you're wanting to cast damping sphere against. Oh, yeah. The yeah you're right, because you're the a, you're a frenzy. Yeah, against the Tron decks and the fact that we're playing frenzy now. Yeah. And we're trying to combo okay. off, so, like. When you, you're wanting to cast this on turn two when you have it, yeah, okay. Again, especially against Tron and against Storm, and it makes it really hard for you to create your card advantage and your board advantage against those decks when you're That's having right. to That's pay right. extra mana for your spells. I'm thinking in the context of regular affinity, but you are not regular affinity Well, anymore. even in a regular affinity, you don't want... Like, you can play two, but it still really hurts when you're casting this card on turn two because... Sure. It, it slows down your deck so much because it turns your zero drops into one drops. It turns, yeah. you know, and so on and so forth. Like it, this card significantly slows you down, and you only bring it in when it, like yeah. they have something really broken going on. I usually think of it as like you've already dumped a lot of your hand by that point, and then you go to it. Well, actually, for the most part, you don't dump your hand completely until turn two. Okay. So when you're casting this on turn two, ah, uh, it slows down that you're dumping your hand till turn three. Mm. So you're you're missing out on like roughly four to five damage pretty much on average when playing this on turn two. Okay. So you only want to play this when they're doing something really broken that you have to stop. All right, now I learned something new. All right, thanks, man. Yep. Got a sideboard deck tech in as well.